heat? Are they in the same heat? Oh my God. In the heat where if you come in third or fourth, the end of your campaign is over with. <laughs> <laughs> so once again everybody welcome this is a 2012 Sintra Portugal Pro Manny V here with Elmo Ramos and uh, Elmo Buenos dias, buenas tardes Yes, good. yes, yes Have a good day yeah, in, in a good job, no? An amazing job Whoa. <laughs> I look over at what, Elmo and his microphone's on the back of his neck White on wave who is white? All right, here we go. Oh, Ooh, my. Look at that. Uranga, Alex no? Uranga. And this is a stacked hit. Alex Uranga putting together a nice piece of work right there. And if you can hear it, people are cheering and yelling. The Basque Country writer, Alex Uranga. Alex Uranga. Let's see if we can get Good this. Good wave to open, huh? Try to get this closer to your mouth. Yeah. Sounds good. It's uh, as good as we're going to get, I think. So, ladies and gentlemen, once again, Manny V here with uh, Elmo Ramos. And uh, Elmo, tell us what happened. Okay. Uh, good bottom. Expressive, <laughs> no? Well, I'm a little bit more and excited. The condition is very, very difficult to find a wave like this. And there he mixes it up with a nice roll right there. Alex Udanga, everybody on the beach clapping and cheering him on. That was a good wave. Good and we also. <laughs> yes. Good opener right there. We want to see a show. Yes, and this is... Uh, Alex Uranga, who just put together a nice piece of work. I'm going to say it's going to be in the 7, 8, maybe even the 9 range for that solid wave. Very clean, very uh, a variety of moves right there. So we're going to see what the judges have to say. And hopefully the scoring system is up to speed, and it is. So stand by for that to come down the pipeline. Elmo Ramos, how are you feeling, brother? It's a great, great pleasure to see Mike Stewart. Yes. Our king. Mike Stewart Gonna is in, uh, he's oh. in the heat, in the red jersey out there. And in uh, the white jersey, Alex Udanga in yellow, Dave Winchester, and in the black jersey, Alberto Colucci. So another stacked heat. This is it. Two riders advance, two riders finish with the contest. Bye bye. I know. Look at that. Seven for that solid first wave for Alex Udanga. Not bad. Seven points clavado. So today, the last day of uh, the third annual. Wait a second. And hold all the presses. Mike Stewart, nice bottom turn, clean roll off the top. Coming around that section. Look at how he just skims. Oh, it's perfect, man. A nice uh, trim across the face, using his entire body to absorb all the bumps. And along the way, Mike Stewart, nice clean carves all the way to the inside, and that's it. Too so much style. Too much style and clean, light. All style. A king style. Huh? <laughs> you can't take anything away from this multi-world champion, Mike Stewart. He's been around from day number one. And uh, let me tell you, he's actually given all these young guns and old school riders a run for their money. Elmo, your uh, shows every night so far, so oh good. Oh, my God. This in <laughs> never yeah. raining nights. <laughs> I know. Last night, uh, I went to the Ring of Fire 3 premiere. Uh, right across the street at the Mar Bar upstairs. If you're going to hang out at the Mar Bar, upstairs is the place to be. Yeah. Um, but uh, the Ring of Fire 3 premiere, I think by midnight, there's about maybe 75 to uh, 100 people all over uh, all over watching it. Look at this, Alex Uranga, bottom turn. Right again. Oh, mm -hmm. nothing there for Alex Uranga. Winchester. All right, Dave Winchester in the yellow jersey. Streaking, coming around the section. Nice, clean roll right there. Gets back on the face of the wave and another roll, extending his arms and yeah, punches complete. out in front of that whitewash. He has to keep kicking. He's down here with his family from France visiting uh, Portugal uh, as a family unit. In and out for Alberto Colucci. Again, this is a very important heat going down right now. This is do or die. First and second advance on, third and fourth. Are out of the contest. Look at perfect textbook roll right there on the face of the wave, and another one for Dave Winchester. Incredible. Nice wave to start, no? Winchester is a competitor, one of the best. Drop knee and prone, so versatile, no? One of the most humble bodyboarders on the tour, and uh, 
is uh, the way he competes, cool, calm, under the radar, and then boom, anytime he wants, he can turn on the gas and uh, just take any heat that he wants. And it's really weird to see him in round number two. He, he got third place, I believe, in his first heat. So he was put into round number two, which is an elimination heat. First and second advance on to round number three. Third and fourth, end of the road. This hit with against Adam. Adam Dallas. All right, check this out. Elmo just got word that we do have the winner of the last heat with Natasha downstairs. Natasha, yeah, where are you at? Got, yeah. Oh, no, that's not oh, Natasha. Natasha. Oh. <laughs> it's different, no? Hi, okay, guys. Thank you very much, Manny Vargas. We are down here with a very happy Gonzalo Faria, mate. Congratulations. Thanks a lot, man. Wow. I tell you what, uh, we are just talking off mic, and uh, you were saying it's been a while since you won a couple of heats. You must be feeling pretty stoked. Hey, man. I've been, been training very hard this year after I, I did some bad, bad results last year in this event. And uh, I practiced so hard, so hard, and I was very sad from, from this morning. So I did my best. I'm very happy, I can tell you. Mate, you, uh, uh, all the locals were just going nuts when we were walking along there. It must be such a cool feeling. But uh, I, I actually was on the webcast uh, team during that one, and uh, Andrew Lester and I were there, and Andrew said, man, it's so cool to see you back and ripping because uh, when he was a kid, he came here first time ever, and, like, you know, you were one of the big stars of the contest. And uh, he just said he really enjoyed the way that you come really hard off the bottom, nice bottom turn, which is sort of missing in this day and age. Uh, I cannot explain. I cannot explain. I don't know. Things are passing through my eyes. I, I just cannot explain. I do by instinct. I just, I cannot explain. Just well, cannot mate, explain. We're, we're so stoked to have you as the wild card. We're really happy you're back in the contest, and we're looking to bigger and better results for you uh, from tomorrow onwards. Sorry. Could, could yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow we're hoping for a big result from you. I hope so. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen, but... Uh, uh, whatever. You're, you're, you're just lost for words, aren't you? Listen, go and have a beer and we'll talk to you tomorrow. All right, that's what I'm going to do. All right, now. Big kiss to my mom and to my sisters. They're watching me now. Bye, mom. All right, there he goes in a blaze of glory. That was Goncalo Faria. As we go back to you, Manny Vargas, in the booth. Well, that was a uh, <laughs> totally uh, uh, miss. Uh, Whatever, that was obviously not Natasha interviewing Hugo Pinedo. Oh, In Terry. fact, it was Terry <laughs> interviewing uh, a living legend, a local Portuguese writer, uh, Gonzalo Faria. One of the first names that I've seen as a Portuguese back in, uh, back in my day, back in um, the 90s, to come out of Portugal. That was one of the first names that I've seen. Yeah, Elmo, yeah. what do you know about this guy? Gonzalo constructs your, your name, basically in pipeline when when he did the semi-final yes 1997 i think and he starts to compete on dob and that now is iba you know yes on the world tour and represent portugal at the first guy and some years they he he spent to your family and your local gonzalo is is local of of Praia Grande, and he's the the, the wheelie car for for this event no well, and now he's surfing like a kid. Yes, <laughs> doing uh, inverts. Well, he and, and he knows this wave a lot. I think he's uh, one of those guys that knows this wave better than anyone. He ended up in second. Joao Pinheiro in first place. Both of those guys we'll see in round number three. So currently out in the water, we have 20 minutes remaining. But here's a look at what happened during the interview. If we got a couple waves that we had on replay. This was Dave Winchester's wave that we missed during the interview, but look at this. Let's see what he did on this. This is the first time seeing it, too. Wow. Good move. Good clean move. Dave Winchester coming to the inside right there. Nice spin, and he's coming all the way down to the inside. Nice reverse. Punches through the lip, Strong and wow, wave. that was a solid wave for Dave Winchester. Yeah, Definitely yeah. in the seven or eight-point range, and I'm looking at the scorecard right now. A 7.63. 7 look at that wave. He's still going. That's talking. That's 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 a lockdown Imagine right there. Matching competition and have so much good lucky, because these conditions are very very difficult. Wow! Look With at that. Wind and the high tide. The high tide is uh, doing a number right now. We've seen in the first day what the tide can do. High tide comes in, small waves, 
it goes almost completely flat. But we have some swell in the water, and uh, at high tide, it just changed the whole dimension of what the wave is doing. So the riders, they look at the waves before their heat to see what the ocean is doing. You have to. Yeah, She's yeah. always changing. They have to understand this, this wave in different conditions. All right, this is an elimination. Let me go first. Yeah. Yes. What you see on your screen is updated scores. Okay. But uh, round number two, this is uh, do or die. Top two riders advance on to heat num or round number three. Third and fourth, that is it. And interesting, look at this. We have Mike Stewart in the um, yellow jersey, I believe. Let me see uh, how this is sorted out. In the red jersey, sorry. Mike Stewart in the red jersey. Alex Uranga in the white jersey. Dave Winchester in yellow, Alberto Colucci in the black jersey. In black. But here's the situation. Two of these riders will not advance on. Look at those names. It's going to be a tough, tough road. Uh, it's very difficult to, road. to put. But if you can put money on the first, the leader of the ranking on at the moment, Dave Winchester. Yeah, but look at Alex Uranga's first wave. Uh, pretty solid, though, a seven-point seven point ride. So seven, what seven he points. is looking for right now is a 6.64 to get that first-place spot from Dave Winchester. Mike Stewart only has one wave, and Alberto Colucci, they only have one wave. Or Alberto has two, but they're very low scoring. Those two guys have 20 minutes or 17.45 to get something going, and uh, that's like a whole new heat. Plenty they of time. need to wait and select waves. It's the, the only way to do now. Look this. The high tide, the waves starting and disappear for nothing, or appears and have a good ramps for good maneuvers, but you need to have a good lucky and a wave selection. A golden eye, huh? Yes. The eye of the tiger. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you're going to need every, all of that and a little bit of luck. Alex Uranga in the white jersey uh, feeling very comfortable in the first half of, oh, look at this, Sasha Specker helping out fellow South African. Mark McCarthy, get ready. Suffer, boys. That's coming up next. Check it out. Roberto Bruno in the red jersey. Brazil. Banat. Vamos, Bruno. Elosua from the Basque country. Chase O'Leary in the yellow jersey, and it is Mark McCarthy right there in the black jersey. Benat Elosu from País Basco, huh? yeah. Basque country. Basque country. Another rip guy. So this is a situation out in the water. 16 minutes, 40 seconds remaining. Mike Stewart, only one wave of 4.5. He needs uh, two high-scoring waves to uh, come through. Actually, it needs only a 3.69 to get into that second place spot. 60 minutes. Alberto Colucci in the black jersey. He is looking for a 5.19. So Colucci I'll needs to wake up. Yeah, wake I'm, up, my friend. They're still in striking distance, yeah. but Alex Uranga. It's a very good body board, a very good talent from South America. Hey, and talking he, about? Ah. Uh, uh, Alberto Colucci comes to us from the trials. He actually uh, ended up in, uh, let's see, where is he? I'm trying to look for his name to figure out where from he Venezuela. Fourth place in the trials. And here he is now in round number two, uh, hoping to stay away from that elimination. Whoa, so whoa, whoa. Hey, give us a little lowdown on what's going on tonight, the last night. Ooh, the last night, ring of fire. I say thanks, Robert Isenberg, no? Yes. Big, big, big production. Amazing, all the claps and the people flipping a lot. Yes. Very, very good night, no? I was Third pretty Third night. Very impressed. This last night will be so, so, so much special. What's going on tonight? Salvemos Puerto campaign. Oh, this that's right. This night we have the Mexico documentary. Oh, perfect. The first time here. And another documentary is as the Chile event that Tambiega got once that last year. Uranga again. Alex Uranga up and riding. Nice spin off the top. Come down to the bottom. Maintaining that nice speed line. Comes around the section. Now waiting for the section to roll up. Alex Uranga waiting and waiting. Oh. And now he sees it. Let's. Oh, oh nice extension flip. right there. Alex Uranga coming around the section again. He knows he has to get it. Oh. <laughs> 
Ah, a little reverse roll right there. He's laughing, too. He, he knows that was uh, just a force maneuver towards the end, but why not? I'll eat some sand. For sure, it's best of your second wave. This is your second wave, no? Yes, yes. He He's looking to replace a 1.19 or 1.18, and that obviously will do it. Let's take another look. Look. You might. A nice spin off the top. Coming back to the bottom, uh, uh, he knows how to get around the section. He knows how to set that rail and get his uh, speed projected off the bottom turn. Here he is setting up for a nice, look at that Whoa. extension right there. He hit the whitewash perfectly and actually got a little air right there. But uh, Alex Adanga finishes off this wave with a little uh, fun trick on the inside. I don't know how the judge is going to count that, but you know what? It's a maneuver all the way to the inside. But if you look, the importance of the... Your equipment, no? Yes. Lightning and very speed, but you have to do a, a special board for different conditions. And these guys ripping, but your boards are magic. That's I think uh, it. I've been talking to a lot of the riders about their boards. First, let's take a look at this Alberto Colucci. Colucci. Mm -hmm. Need to do more, more selections. Yeah, it Too looks like much. yeah I, I, he's trying to get something going because right now he doesn't have a, such a high score on uh, either of his waves. A 3.0 is his high score. Look at this. He's going to go all the way to the inside behind oh, the flags. Oh, eating sand. Ends with a roll right on the sand. I mean, ending a long wave like that with a roll onto the sand, you're, you're going to get that one or two extra points because you took it all the way in and you ended your wave. You completed your wave. They need to do something. They need to wake up and... Maybe with a better selection, but the second place is so, so difficult, right? But these guys are superhero, huh? We're trying to list. You saw the, the heat, the Magno heat? Yes, uh, Magno. 11 and 12 waves. Oh, I know. Four to first. <sighs> these guys are amazing. There's, uh, the yeah, the current uh, situation out in the water, 12 minutes remaining, was up on your screen. Looks like uh, we may see some action out the oh, back. Yes, Winchester. Dave Winchester. Speed line, oh, cuts out of that one. Didn't see anything down the line, so he calls it quits <laughs> early on that and kicks out and makes his way back out into the lineup. He's the leader, and he's, he competes a lot. If he don't catch this wave, another catch this wave. So. 11 very, very minutes. Technical. 11 minutes. All right, you know what? Uh, let's get this uh, little message going on on our IBA World Tour Facebook page. That's where we're going to be interactive with our viewers all over the world. Uh, for now, let me know where you're at. And when you're at. What time and where are you watching from around the world? <laughs> Where are you at? When you at? Talk to me up on Facebook World Tour IBA World Tour page. Look at this, oh, Alex Odonga. Wow, is he, if he can pull that off, it's going to be amazing because he actually went for an ARS on an oncoming section. I was trying to find the right words, but uh, oncoming section trying to do not ARS on that. It's very difficult. If he would have pulled that very, off, very difficult. huge props. But he went to to try. The, the 4.55, no? Your uh, second best way. Yeah, Alex Uranga right now is uh, trying to build on a 4.55, you're right, and his first b highest wave is seven points. You, you, know, you know the system, but uh, check this out. Little Lola in the action. We'll be back right after this. Welcome back once again, ladies and gentlemen, to the 2012 Sintra Portugal Pro. Manny V here holding it down in the hot seat. Elmo Ramos, uh, the director, organizer of the Epic Bodyboarding Film Festival. What is the Ooh. official name? The third international festival of cinema and short movies of bodyboard. Awesome. That is the last night tonight. 
at Mar Bar upstairs. Don't miss it if you're anywhere in the area. Nine minutes, 21 seconds remaining in heat number two, round number two, elimination round, ladies and gentlemen. Third and fourth. Good night, sweet prince. You are done for the contest if you do not get into that first or second place slot. Dave Winchester looking really strong. Alex Uranga, he can build on that 4.55 and solidify that second place spot, but within striking distance for sure. Albert Colucci in black and Mike Stewart in red. And the last wave of Colucci, 3.83. He needs more. Yeah, he needs to get at and least a 7.72. And Mike Stewart sitting on a 4.05. He just needs... two waves, no? Yes, he only has two waves, and he needs a 7.05, but we've seen it throughout the entire event here in Sintra. A lot of the riders waiting till that last minute before putting on the gas and getting out through a tough situation. So shout out to those tuned in. Uh, in Venezuela, it's 9.30 a.m. Thank you, Adrian. In Perth, WA, 10.20 p.m., Matasha. And out the back, it is Alex Uranga. Uranga. From the Basque Country, nothing there. In and out of in that wave. Out. Cape Town, South Africa, coming in from uh, Lyal Said in uh, Casablanca. Morocco. Ru yes, Morocco. Rudy. And the Morocco invasion, eh? Yeah. What the do you think about? The Morocco invasion making yes. an impression here in the Centro Portugal Pro. Big shout out to everybody. And uh, the performance was well noted. Rudy, Richards Bay, South Africa. Haig, tuning in from New Jersey. Eduardo, Rio de Janeiro. Fala, Elmo Ramos. Sou Eduardo Baratinha. Yeah. Um abraço aí, Eduardo Simões, a galera do Rio de Janeiro. E... Yeah, buddy. If I start to, to talk about the, <laughs> my country, but a big, a big hug. Miss you a lot, my friends, my people from Brazil. And enjoy the Rio International Bodyboard Pro. Oh, that's going to be an In a few weeks ago, Copacabana. That's going to be we'll an insane a event. Big, big scene. Huh? Yes. Scott Hamilton tuned in from Perth, 10 30 p.m. Patricia. Patricia is tuned in at almost 1 in the morning in Sydney. Way to freaking get in there, girl. Hanging in there late night. Rudy, home of the Booty. In South Africa, A Tour tuning in in the Basque country. Look at this, Alex Uranga, fellow Basque Uranga writer. Again. He's he's searching and searching and searching. Don't stop. All right, not much there for Alex Uranga, but his two scores are good so far up until this point. So there's six minutes remaining. Mike Stewart and Albert Colucci could do the impossible and knock him out of there. James Jones. South Africa, DK Wars Barbados. What's up, NYC? Living in NYC, that's right. DK Wars. I think we're going to do a DK Wars. Big hug for Chris Taloa. We're going to do a DK Wars uh, right down the beach, Playa Pequena. When? Sunday, I think, right after the event. Oh, invite me, please. Uh, you're invited. <laughs> yeah. From Dubai. Oh, hold on. Sorry. Where eyes are on the screen right now in red. Alberto Colucci. Colucci. What's he going to do? Oh, oh, waiting for that section you to form up for him. And that whole wave just. Lost the best section, no? Yes. Mistiming. Oh, no. Look at him. He is frustrated. And the time is five minutes and a half, no? James Bird Adubadi. Sorry. I, uh, Mike Stewart, my friend. He says as well as. I don't know what's happening with Mike Stewart uh, out there right now, but uh, ladies and gentlemen, one more shout outside. out. It is uh, Anthony Zabrano watching before work. Mike on the wave. Look at this. Here Ooh. we go. Mike Stewart up and riding. What can he do? He's searching for a 7.05. Here he comes around this section. Uh oh, here it comes. Ah. Oh. You know what? He's trying to build. He, he would love to have that 7.05 wave, but that's going to better his He's second highest second wave, wave yeah. 1.1. Thank you all for tuning in. And this is the scary part on the Facebook part is plus, pressing uh, refresh, and now we're going to see even more comments coming down the pipe. Look at this. Dave Winchester Wait, out the, the back. Wave. Oh, oh, nice ARS right there from Dave Winchester before that wave closes out on him, but clean. He's a lucky guy. He doesn't even need that wave, but you know what? Uh, 
It won't hurt. You have a star on, <laughs> on your head, no? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, my. Another high school, no? We're watching yeah, right now. Yeah, oh, yeah. Dave Winchester is sitting on a 6 and a 7.63. Was that maneuver good enough to take away his uh, six-point wave? I don't know. I'm going to say four or five points. Uh, it was a one-maneuver wave, medium size. It's a clean wave, a good selection. Actually, I stand corrected. 5.68. Five point six eight for that last wave. The other waves are bigger, no? Oh my. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, sorry, we are listening to the beach commentary just to hear some priority situations. Three minutes, 45 seconds out in the water. Coming down to the wire right now. Dave Winchester clocking in a 5.68 on that last wave. Not enough to replace that six. Alex Uranga currently in second position in the white jersey. He has a... Uh, the second wave of Mike Stewart, you know, 3.55. He's actually sitting really good. Um, yes, needs, Mike Stewart. He needs a seven point. He still needs that 7.05. Alberto Colucci, 7.72. That's what they're both looking for in these last few minutes. Here we go. Uranga again. Alex Uranga coming around that section. Coming to the inside right there. Oh, how's the timing with the backwash right there? Not really any projection what is this? coming from the bottom turn. But without wave, he saw huh? the backwash with the wind. No, with the wind, the backwash <laughs> from the high tide came help, and help, he timed no? it perfectly. But without lip, no, without a lip, no, he with the winds. It was the Whoa. winds, the backwash, everything except for uh, magic boards, I think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look. Like this maneuver. All right, check this out. Watch his timing. He sees something coming. You see that look? Look at him. He's timing. He's timing it. He sees the backwash Wait. coming. And then look at this. Boom. An ARS off Boom. of nothing right there and getting some serious projection. Trying to complete. Uh, yeah. Okay. Pretty good ride right there for Alex Uranga coming all the way into the inside and finishes off with a roll right there. He changes your second score, I think. I think he Anyone? might. Yeah, uh, yeah. He's going to come in for sure uh, with a higher score than his uh, 4.55. So stand. Oh. Is that all they're going to give him? No, I think. Uh, I guess it is. 4.55 is what they're going to give Alex Uranga. And I think the judges saw that, that it was. Uh, it wasn't really a projection off the bottom turn. It was more of a, more of a trick than anything. Yeah, it's a trick. Um, without, without, without without the lip, lip. yeah. But it was amazing, huh? He's a showman. Oh, in and out on that one, ladies and gentlemen. Woo, ladies and gentlemen! Wow, we're catching our breath here. And uh, thanks again for everybody tuning in. We appreciate uh, it. Just looks on our looks good on our resume when everybody from around the world is tuning in, and especially Ernesto in El Salvador, 8:30 in the morning. Troy Taylor, almost uh, one o'clock in New South Wales. Ben, he's in the Philippines. What up, Jono, in West Oz? Trent, 10:30, 10:26 p.m. in Singapore. Out the Mike back, Mike Mike's Stewart. Coming around that section. Getting a little bump right there from that uh, whitewash. Mike needs a seven points. This wave is not so good for... for oh, he's not a happy camper right now. Coming down to the wire. Let's see what he can do to the, this inside. You never know. Oh, oh you, another you, trick. <laughs> he just pretty much gave up right there. Oh, <laughs> oh no. He's not going to be happy. Look at him. Frustration. Oh, One of the most serious competitors on the yeah. tour... Uh, you can tell his anger right there. He was lucky pissed. Guy. And I this guy right here is just guy. flying all over the place from the very beginning. 